Hi, I'm Janae Meadows of JanaeMeadows.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the brushes tool in Illustrator. Okay, so the, the thing about brushes is you can take those the boring path lines that you're going to draw and they kind of look, you know, computer, they don't have a lot of warmth or, you know, life to them that normally with a pencil you get and it's going to bring some of that warmth and life to your drawing again. So let me show you what I mean. Now, here we go. I've got a, I've opened up a, I've scanned in a sketch I've done of myself. And there she is. And I, I've already gone ahead and I've taken the pen tool real quick. I'll show you how. And just began outlining me. So they've got, you know, you've got the pen line and let's just go, I've done it all here all ahead of time. Already done. So I've just made another layer on top of that one and outlined it all. And you can see that doesn't look so, that doesn't look so good. That's, it just doesn't have any personality to it and the lines don't really hold up. So that's when your brushes come in. So let's go up to your window, scroll down, see your brush libraries, and you go to my personal favorite, artistic. And then you go to uh, chalk, charcoal, pencil. There you go. And you're going to see all these cool different options for brushes. Now, let's just, I'll, let me really quickly just show you how this goes. Click on a path. Click on a brush. Whoa. Then you see it looks now, it looks like somebody actually took a marker in there and really drew this or an ink brush. It's got that nice and natural look to it. But the cool thing is it's lossless because it's vector. You can shrink it down and move it around any way you want. And it, you can blow it up as big and blow like a big billboard and it's still going to hold up its quality. So that's the advantage to it besides, I mean, you could just do it in pencil, but you're, gonna, you're not going to have that losslessness. That's awesome. So what you can do is just go through and you can do, uh, check out this brush here. I love this one. It looks like a pencil. Let's just zoom in on that so you can see the quality, what, what's happening here. Hmm. You can see the line's just got a nice jagged edge to it. And you can also, you don't have to just be happy with what the brush does. You can, like any other path, you can make it smaller or bigger and that's what you just got to do to get that sort of realistic touches. I'm just going to go through and click this until it looks like I really drew it with pen and pencil. And I've already done that ahead of time so let's take a look at what that would look like. There we go, finished product. There's me. So we just went from a sketch to the outline to the finished product. And you can see it just really, I think it just made it, uh, now it looks like a, it's got that hand-drawn feel to it. All right, well, you don't have to stop. It. Now, it's not just for uh, creating a inky kind of stuff. There's a lot of options with the brushes. So if you go back to the window, all the way back to brush libraries, and there's some, I mean, you've got yourself all sorts of choices here, but if you're doing like a, if you want to add a border to something, Illustrator already has those going on for you. So let's just, let's do frames. And you can see all these different frames show up in this. So if you want to put a little wooden frame around me, let's click the square, put a frame around me, and let's click with a wood brush. There you go, cool. Check it out, framed. All right, now that you've brushed up on the brushes, you might want to brush up on some other stuff in Illustrator. Just check out the links. If you want to see what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com.